If you want to determine the structure of a protein by X-ray crystallography, you first have to grow a protein crystal. Unlike table salt, proteins don't crystallize easily because of their irregular lumpy surfaces, so numerous attempts may have to be made to make a crystal. Various factors, pH, temperature, the solvent, are important for success. Salting out agents such as ammonium sulfate can reduce the solubility of the protein to aid crystallization, but it may take several days to produce a crystal large enough to use. The protein crystal is mounted in a specific orientation and exposed to a beam of x-rays. The atoms in the crystal scatter the x-rays, which are recorded on film. Each atom in the sample scatters x-rays and the strength of scattering is proportional to the number of electrons in the atom so each atom can eventually be identified. Since you can't focus x-rays with a lens, a different method is used, a mathematical formula called a Fourier transform, which can interpret the x-ray photograph to produce a contour map of electron densities. This map represents the electron density for a particular plane through the crystal. The peaks and valleys correspond to the positions of atoms. Here is the heme in hemoglobin whose atoms all lie in the same plane. The hill in the middle is an iron atom. Since proteins are three-dimensional, many such maps, each representing a slice through the molecule, must be assembled by computer to create a complete 3D structure. 